welcome viewers we know that an electric dipole is a pair of equal and opposite charges separated by small distance examples of dipoles are hcl molecule water molecule etc we also know that a charge placed in external electric field experiences a force now can you imagine what will happen if the dipole is placed in uniform electric field in this program we are going to discuss the behavior of permanent electric dipole in uniform electric field do you remember what a permanent electric dipole is a permanent electric dipole is a dipole which has its own electric dipole moment and this dipole moment is not induced by any electric field now let us try to understand the behavior of an electric dipole by placing it in a uniform electric field let this is your dipole having charges minus q and plus q and it is placed in a uniform electric field at any angle theta here this theta is the angle between electric dipole moment of the dipole which is from negative to positive charge and electric field suppose this is the center of the dipole and the length of the dipole is 2a now as the charge placed in electric field experiences a force therefore the two charges minus q and plus q will experience force and the force on minus q charge will be in a direction opposite to the direction of electric field and it will be minus qe and force on plus q charge will be in the direction of electric field and its magnitude will be plus qe therefore the net translatory force net translatory force on the dipole will be plus qe minus qe is equal to 0 hence when an electric dipole is placed in a uniform electric field it experience a zero net translatory force now you can clearly observe that this minus qe and plus qe are two equal and opposite forces acting along different lines of action their lines of action are different and because they are acting on different lines of action so they will not cancel out each other instead such forces constitute a torque or couple and its magnitude is equal to the magnitude of torque is given as force magnitude of any of the force multiplied by perpendicular distance between the two anti parallel forces perpendicular distance between these two forces now first let us find what is the perpendicular distance between these two forces this is your perpendicular distance between the two forces suppose minus q is present at point a and plus q is present at b so the perpendicular distance between two anti parallel forces will be this bn and we can find bn if this angle is theta so we can find this will also be theta and the bn upon the length of the dipole that is ab is equal to sin theta and bn is equal to ab sin theta and this ab is 2a which is the length of dipole so the perpendicular distance becomes 2a sin theta by putting values of the force the magnitude of each force was qe and 
the perpendicular distance between the two anti parallel forces we get torque is equal to this one and we know that this q into 2 a what is q into 2 a it is called electric dipole moment and it is denoted by vector p it is e and it is sin theta so this is your final expression for torque acting on electric dipole in uniform electric field hence we observe that when electric dipole is placed in uniform electric field the net force on the dipole is zero but net torque is non zero and torque is pe sin theta and this torque can be written as in vector form we can write it as torque is equal to p cross e and from the rule of vectors and from the rules of vectors we know that cross product of two vectors is another vector which is perpendicular to both the vectors hence this torque is perpendicular to p and this torque is perpendicular to e as well and the direction of cross product can be easily found out using fleming's left hand rule or screw rule so by putting a screw here you can rotate the screw from the vector p to vector e through smaller angle the direction of vector p is this one and the direction of vector e is this one so if this angle is theta and if i rotate the screw from vector p to vector e through smaller angle we get that the direction of the torque will be normal to the plane of the paper coming out of it it will be in outward direction so using screw rule you can find the direction of torque also now let us consider three simple situations number 1 when the dipole moment vector p is parallel to e that is electric field it means theta will be zero so what will be the torque in this case torque will be pe sin zero and we know that sin zero is zero so torque will be zero number 2 when electric dipole moment vector p is anti parallel to electric field that is theta is equal to 180 degree so the magnitude of torque in this case will be pe sin 180 degree and we know that sin 180 is also zero so again torque will be zero so when dipole is placed in uniform electric field either parallel to e or anti parallel to e the torque acting on the dipole is zero now let us see the third condition when dipole is placed perpendicular to electric field p is perpendicular to e that means theta is 90 degree so what will be the torque in this case torque will be pe sin 90 and sin 90 degree is 1 so we get p into e which is the maximum value hence we can observe that an electric dipole experiences maximum torque when it is placed perpendicular to electric field can you depict the orientation of dipole in these three situations now see what happens if the field is non uniform in that case the net force will evidently be non zero let us explain it with the help of a diagram suppose this is our electric dipole and it is placed in non uniform electric field 
which is increasing from left to right. This is your electric field increasing field. Suppose the electric field at the position of minus q is E 1. So, the force on this minus q charge will be towards left and it will be minus q E 1. And suppose the electric field at this position of plus q is E 2. So, the force on plus q charge will be towards right and it will be plus q E 2. So, because we are going in the direction of increasing field, field is more at E 2, that E 2 is greater than E 1. So, q e 2 is greater than q e 1. Hence, the dipole will experience a net force in the direction of increasing field. So, the net force will be q e 2 minus q e 1. So, we observe that when a dipole is placed parallel to the direction of field, then it experiences a net force in the direction of increasing field. Similarly, when P is anti parallel to E, the net force on the dipole is in the direction of decreasing field. In either case, the net torque is 0, but there is a net force on the dipole if E is non uniform. In general, the force depends on the orientation of the dipole moment vector P with respect to electric field E. Now, can you tell why does a comb run through dry hair attracts small pieces of paper? Let us discuss a simple problem based on behavior of electric dipole placed in uniform electric field. And problem is an electric dipole with dipole moment 4 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb meter is aligned at 30 degree with the direction of electric field. So, theta is 30 degree and the magnitude of electric field is 5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb and you have to calculate the magnitude of the torque acting on the dipole. So, values of dipole moment angle theta and electric field are given and you have to find the torque on the dipole. And we know that torque acting on the dipole is given by the formula P e sin theta. And by putting the values of the P is 4 into 10 to the power minus 9, value of electric field is 5 into 10 to the power 4 multiplied by sin 30 degree and sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, we get 2 to the 4, 5 to the 10, 10 to the power minus 9 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 that is 10 to the power minus 4 Newton meter. This is your torque acting on the electric dipole which is placed in uniform electric field. In this program, we discussed the behavior of electric dipole in uniform electric field. We found that a dipole placed in uniform electric field experiences zero net translatory force, but a torque acts on it which always tends to align the dipole with the field direction. Further, we learned that in non-uniform electric field, dipole experiences non-zero net force as well as non-zero net torque. Thank you.